What's up lords and ladies, welcome back to another video on this channel. So in today's video, we got Dragon here. Now as many of you guys know, we got Dragon not too long ago, um, and she happens to be a 12 year old bearded dragon, um, which some of you guys who have been following this channel have been asking for me to do a couple videos on her as, you know, all of our bearded dragons are gonna get old. And she happens to be 12 years old, so, you know, that is a long time for a bearded dragon. And she's definitely still requires some assisting when it comes to eating, but I've learned a couple things about her. And at the same time, I've also, you know, put her inside of this melamine enclosure. Um, I just find it a lot more easier to control the temperatures. I've also simplified her enclosure where there's nothing really, you know, crazy that she could climb on. She could get a basking area. She has a food dish over there that I'm currently cleaning, um, but very simple, mostly because I wanna see how she responds. She doesn't really move much. Her limbs are still very stiff, but because I've increased her temperature, I've also seen a very increase of activity for her. And also I have her on a schedule. So the time, um, you know, that the lights turn on are around 8 a.m. and they turn off at 8 p.m. So she has a 12 hour cycle of day and nighttime because she also has 12 hours where the lights are just completely off and it's pitch black and she could sleep for 12 hours, wake up, basically eat and go back to sleep. So hopefully we could continue this routine, but what we're gonna be doing in this video is seeing her feeding response. I've been feeding her, you know, with the tongs and getting her going, but today I wanna see how fast she is and if she's even able to eat on her own. It is nice and warm inside of her enclosure, so she's very active even though she's not really moving, but I really wanna see if she is gonna eat on her own. So we're gonna get some crickets and we're gonna basically see her feeding response. So let's go. All right, so I'm gonna place a cricket right in front of her. I really don't expect her to be, you know, very active when it comes to eating, but maybe just maybe we could get some movement um like i said she's very old so she definitely requires some assisting um luckily her bower movements were good um you know she's been eating she's been drinking so everything seems to be nice and smooth however um you know there's nothing i really could do about her stiffness i guess it comes with the age um, you know, there's no really quick fix for her medications or anything like that. She does not really do much. As you can see, there's a cricket right in front of her and she's really not that hungry and, or interested. But this is what happens usually with older bearded dragons. You know, she's 12 years old. Uh, bearded dragon's lifespan is around that age. So she's definitely pushing those numbers. So she's still doing great, but there's those days where she just doesn't eat. So hopefully we could get her eating some crickets in the near future, but currently she just continues loves eating those superworms. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if I place a superworm inside of here, she would prefer that instead. So let's see. Place the superworm, it is moving, and she is not interested. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe, oh, yep yeah, she is definitely moving she sees it she definitely sees it so what I'm probably gonna do is place a little plate in there like how I normally feed her but yeah she definitely sees it yep she's gonna go for it oh okay let's go behind her let's put it right here come on girl come on I'm gonna try to eat my hand here you go yeah there we go. So she definitely likes those super worms. I'm gonna sneak a cricket in there. Come on. Okay, I could not sneak a cricket in there, but maybe that's what I try to do. Um, give her those super worms and then try to sneak a cricket in there. So let's see if that works. These are super small super worms. Uh, they almost look like mealworms, but uh, this is really all they had at the store, which is sad, but hopefully next week you can get the big ones. Uh, let's see put her one there she's gonna go for it 
it seems like she could only see from that that's you know her left side which I don't know if it's a, a thing but it really does look like she's struggling to, to chase the food okay there we go oh yes <laughs> she yes so it gave her a little bit of a uh, cricket or gave her a cricket so she technically ate one but obviously she's more interested in the superworms but I'm gonna repeat that kind of process of feeding her for the I don't know until she's full I'm just gonna keep giving her and giving her if you notice she really doesn't have much movement so even though she still is eating she still has a good amount of weight and it does look like she is you know doing well especially inside of this enclosure where it's nice and warm um, I definitely still need to continue giving her food and unfortunately she doesn't like eating veggies uh, she rarely even likes eating other bugs aside from superworms so hopefully we could change that and switch it up a bit but right now that's really all you could really do with this dragon um, you know that's why when you get a bearded dragon you know you definitely need to train them while they're young um, to eat different types of food but even when they get older they just become a lot more pickier so you do have to switch things up um, but for her uh, you know it's one of those things where you know I, I didn't raise her up so I don't really know her that well so I'm still learning things about her as well as I do want to provide as much as I possibly can for her but at the same time I cannot switch how she is if <laughs> she only wants to eat super worms I, I can't force her to eat anything else you know even if I try my methods of switching them over and giving them other things she at the end of the day is the boss I guess <laughs> Now, something that I do for bearded dragons that have a little bit of a trouble when it comes to eating, especially someone like Dragon that has a little bit of an issue with movement, I do go in there with a syringe and give them some Rapashi grub pie. So this right here happens to be something that you could feed your bearded dragons. Obviously, you could make it in a different type of form to give to your dragons. But what I do is I make it very, very runny like so and I've done this in other videos but I'll just demonstrate I make it really runny uh, and I also put it in a syringe and then I go in there and I slowly feed them this um, you don't want to overdo it you don't want to get them to regurgitate but one thing about dragon is that she does eat however she has very trouble you know she's very uh, stiff so she has trouble chasing the food and she has trouble eating and the last thing I want her to do is to basically start losing weight especially at this age where it's harder for her to bounce back and if you notice okay okay girl <laughs> so if you've noticed she does have a good amount of weight when it comes to her tail you know it doesn't look deflated it looks nice and thick as well as you know her fat pads on her head they're not deflated, even though they could be a little bit more plumped. But because of her age, you know, this is not so bad. Like imagine she's 12 years old and she's still able to you know, hold up this amount of weight, even though she does not really eat much. And yeah, she is really stiff. <laughs> so my goal isn't for her to gain a bunch of weight or anything like that it's mostly for her to maintain the weight and the energy because the last thing I want to do is basically overwhelm her system as well as I don't want to you know give her too much that she can't handle but I also don't want her to drop in weight so you do have to play a balancing act and you know understanding your bearded dragons behavior plays a big role in this so we're just gonna go in here Okay, dragon, it's okay, it's okay, girl. Now, I don't know if she's gonna enjoy this. Come on, oh yeah, she does not like that. Come on, come on, girl, it's okay. It's okay, so I'm just gonna grab, oh, oh, whoa, 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 okay. Let's see if maybe, okay, yep. Yeah. Maybe that's, maybe I'm getting lucky here. Maybe I might not have to syringe feed her Maybe I could just go from the top and feed her like this, which that would be a big bonus. You know, I don't have to really syringe feed her. 
I could just go on top and just pour the food in her mouth. So that's one of those things that you need to also do is understand your bearded dragon. Uh, sometimes they make the job a lot more easier for you. Sometimes they make it a little bit harder, but you definitely need to know when to, you know, enter, you know, to back off, when to come in and interfere. But uh, like right now, she's doing a really good job when it comes to eating. You know, it's messy. I could really, really get her eating some of that repast she grew up pie in. I think she's enjoying it. Yep, she's definitely enjoying it. <laughs> okay, girl. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think she's enjoying it a little bit too much. Calm down. <laughs> so not only is this going to give her some fluids, you know, some uh, water, some hydration, it's also going to give her a lot of nutrients. So that's one of the things that uh, a lot of bearded dragons, once they get older, they sometimes suffer from. And she doesn't like the one that's over here, so let me just take it off. They sometimes can lack, uh, they sometimes can lack nutrients and it's mostly because they don't want to eat so sometimes us owners because they don't want to eat we might skip a day skip another day but it's okay if they don't eat but if they're not eating on a consistent basis what i would recommend is you know check them out take them to the vet see what you can do there um if not see if you could syringe feed them to maintain their weight not so much to gain weight but to maintain the weight that way they don't lose energy and they don't get even more sick but at the same time you definitely need to be aware that you're not overdoing it you're not underdoing it so you know sometimes it's best to leave it for the pros the professionals to do it you know take them to the vet see what you could get them to do but in this case she seems to be okay with me syringe feeding her um, so I'm definitely going to be doing this maybe you know three times if not once a week uh, so three times a week or sometimes once a week depending on how much she eats uh, I'm definitely always gonna offer her food but sometimes you have to go in there and syringe feed them so hopefully you know some of you guys out there don't have to do this but I really have a feeling that you know, once they reach an age, there's gonna be a time where you're gonna have to do this. It's, you know, I've seen it with most of my bearded dragons, like even BB, uh, you know, in her last days, I needed to do this. It's one of those things where you just need to do because, you know, they get older, they can't, you know, they can't even eat on their own sometimes. So it's part of life, but, you know, as long as you love them and care about them, you know, they should be fine. And you could tell that she's really happy the fact that she got some food in her system. So hopefully you guys learned a thing or two in this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'm definitely going to be posting more on this channel. So subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> she has like a... I need to clean her up. <laughs> but she's really messy. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'm Lord Lion. Keep the blood pumping. This is Dragon. And we'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. You gotta hit that notification, hit that notification, hit that notification button, baby. You gotta hit that notification, hit that notification.